What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Bat Breakers franchise here on Super Mega Baseball 3. We've got another action-packed episode for you guys today. Three more games. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content, because that's all we do here. We could build a winner together. Taking on the Griffins today on the road. The Griffins are a team that I made based on one of my very first NCAA 14 dynasties on the channel, and we get a hit right off of the second baseman's glove to start the game. So you love to see that. Here's a hit up the middle, and Eric Trinkle going to start the double play and complete it. So that gets them through the first inning. We'll see if Mr. Big Bopus can get us through the first inning of this one as that's the first out all the way deep, all the way to the wall. Here's Jack Casanova, and he is going to hit one. We're trying to get the man out going home, and it's not going to work out for us. We give up the first run of the game. Here's a hit up the middle, and that's all the way to center for Burrow. Burrow trying to make the throw home, and he doesn't really have the arm that Ruby Moon has who's taking a day off today, so that doesn't work out for us. It's 2 to nothing. Here's the hit out to right field. Roger Dodger can't find it in the sun. And that is going to be the fourth run of the ball game. And that will go for a triple. With two away, runner on third. This one is hit deep to right field. And it is smashed into the stands. Gone. What a moon ball for the man himself, Paris Adolph. is his first home run of the season. Six RBI. Here's Eric Trinkle at the plate, batting 067, but here he gets one right down the right field line. And Eric Trinkle helping out the Griffins to get to a 7-0 lead as that throw not nearly in time. 7-0 Griffins in the top of the fifth here. Punch Poggington at the plate, and he punches one into right field. That's going to go all the way to the corner, and Poggington into second base with a double. Love to see that. Need to see more of it. Miles Burrow at the plate now. He hits one up the middle. That gets through. Poggington's going to try to make his way home. Jack Casanova with the throw home is not in time. And we do prevent the shutout from happening. Here's a hit down the right field line. Jumping is the first baseman. He won't get there. It's all the way down the right field line. And we are going to have two on, one away. Two in scoring position here for... Blazer Wolf to hit one and trying to make the diving stop. Paris Griffin just can't do it. Safe at first, makes it seven to two. Here's our big boy, Chad Cinco Ocho, and he hits one into left field. That will be grabbed for out number two. So it's seven to two. Still going to the bottom of the fifth now. This one's hit pretty deep. Roger Dodger trying to get there and no shot. That thing is all the way out there. Another blast for the Griffins, and that's 433 feet for Andrew Payne, his second home run of the season, and fourth RBI. So the Griffins will win this game 9-2. A little bit of an embarrassing loss for the Bat Breakers, but there's some teams that the Bat Breakers just aren't good enough to compete with in this league right now, and the Griffins seem to be one of those teams. Jack Casanova and, Andrew, and Aaron Jackson get no hits for the Griffins, though. So we hold two guys hitless. Unfortunately, Cinco Ocho was our only hitless guy besides Jason Klassen. So when Cinco Ocho's not going to provide any hits, we are in trouble because he is most of the time our catalyst. Big Bopus gives up nine runs in four innings, and Sean Gumbert two runs in a full seven. So he pitched the complete game today. Andrew Payne, Paris Adolphus, and Garrett Ginsley are the stars of the game. So we move forth here, taking a look at who will win the computer games. You can see the Craniacs just continuing to win games here. The Blackjacks winning as well. We are their only loss on the season. Very interesting to see. Craniacs go to 6-0. Poggers are 5-0. They are very tough teams. Those are two teams that we are not ready to face right now. We are 2-3, and three, and we got to play a second game in a row against the Griffins. So, Rogaborte Ramirez going up against Matthew DeGeorge. We'll see how that one works out. Matthew DeGeorge did not have a very good first start this season. So, we'll see if we can hit him up a little bit. As you can see... Vladimir Smirnov at the plate, and Smirnov ropes one into right center field. That went all the way to the fence. That's going to provide the first run of the game, so the bat breaker score first could be a good sign here today. Ramirez now on the bump. 
And this one is going deep to left field. Blazer Wolf is going to make the catch at the warning track. Now Paris Adolphus up. He hits one really deep with two away. And all the way to center at the warning track. Ruby Moon making the play. Ruby Moon gets to play today against these Griffins. She's excited for the challenge. Here's another big hit out there. And that one is gone this time. Ruby Moon could not rob that one and bring it back in. She did make the attempt, though. 418 feet for Jared Gorski. His first home run of the year and fourth RBI. Here's a blooper into right field. Roger Dodger trying to make a play slides, but it is not going to be made. And that'll be a 3-1 lead for the Griffins. Eric Trinkle at the plate, and he absolutely smashes one into left. Easily a home run. No chance of that coming back. Eric Trinkle with an absolute blast. 435 feet. That's his first homer of the year and his third RBI. So Eric Trinkle makes it a 4-1 game. Here's a hit here, and that gets past Miles Burrow. Roger Dodger having some trouble out there in right field, and that'll make it 5-1 Griffin. Now here it's Nikki Boland, and she's going to hit one deep to right field. That's into the stands. Wow, the pitching today just can't keep the ball in the park. Boland's second home run and fifth RBI of the year. So here's Garrett Ginsley at the plate, and he's going to hit one up the middle. Avatar Ang can't get to it. Ruby Moon's going to try to throw this one home. That one is way off the mark, and it is 9-1 Griffins. Nice strikeout there of Matt Vital, though, but the Bat Breakers still end up with an L in this one. This one 9-1 instead of 9-2. So obviously the skill level is about there. We just... Can't really compete with the awesomeness that is the Griffins right now. Uh, at least one hit for everybody on the Griffins today. Punch Poggington and Jason Klassen, the two guys held hitless. Klassen didn't get a single hit in two games against the Griffins. Sadly, uh, it was Cinco Ocho's day off today. So one of our catalysts of our team not in the lineup. Ramirez, nine runs in four innings, same as Bopus, really, and Tito Flavors, nice uh, two innings of shutout ball, but Matt to George pitches a great game, gives up one run through an entire seven innings. He's the third star of the game. Ginsley, second star, he was a third star last game, and Jared Gorski, the first star today, he hit really, really well. So we continue to look, the Husker Ninjas with a win there. The Bandits with a win as well. The Bone Chills, the My Guys, the Legends, the Poggers, the Blackjacks. Nice win for them. Then the My Guys were getting a win. The Snowmen get a dub. The win for the Tarantulas. So we take a look, and we are sitting at 2-4. and four. We're going to be taking on the 3-3 three and three Crows now, based off Param Crows Legends. JT Hall will be the starting pitcher for them. We, you can see they've got Latavius Knight, Tavares Levingston, Addison Pennington, Philip Russ, Christian Stupar. It's going to be tough to beat this team. But here's Cinco Ocho right away going to get a hit into center field. You love to see it when Cinco Ocho's on. We can play well. Here's Vladimir Smirnov and Huff with a brilliant layout and catch. So they prevent us from scoring a run. Latavius Knight is going to lead off for them. And he gets a single right off the bat, which could be dangerous here. Madam Elmer's on the mound. 150 ERA for him on the season. He wants to keep a good ERA, but <laughs> giving up a gapper like that isn't going to help. That should get Latavius Knight all the way home, and it will as Avatar Angst throw. Definitely not in time, so it's one nothing Crows. Here's Addison Pennington. He hits one into left field. That's going to be the second run of the game. So now Christian Stupar only batting 125 on the season, and that's going to help his batting average as that one's hit into the bullpen and gone off Madam Elmers here at Apple Field. On the road, Elmers just not pitching well today. First home run and second RBI of the year for Stupar. Here's Clifford Jean at the plate, and Clifford Jean ropes one into right field. That'll just get over the fence. Actually ends up coming back as it hits the rails, but it is the first home run and first RBI for Clifford Jean. That is going to make it 5-0 Crows, so we have got to do something. Here's a big hit out to left. That is gone. A solo shot for the Bat Breakers, but at least it's something. 
It travels 386 feet for Blazer Wolf. That's his first homer and his fourth RBI of the year. So, Madam Elmers is back on the bump. Latavius Knight launches one, and that is gone. A line drive bomb to right center field. His first home run of the year and six RBI. Here's Cinco Ocho trying to bring this game back to earth. He hits one inside pitch. He gets it to fall into center field, and that is going to bring home a run, but he is out at second for the second out. That ends up stopping our run there, and it'll be six to two. We get the third out without giving up anything, but Royal Poison will eventually give it up here as we cannot get a single out on what should have been a double play opportunity. That makes it 7-2 to two in favor of the Crows. Then the hit up the middle. That could be two runs. Ruby Moon just cannot gun down the runner. And it's 9-2. to two. Here's a big hit out to center field. Ruby Moon giving chase, making the jump and she can't get there. A three run blast and guess who it is? Yes, it is him again. 434 feet for Christian Stupar. He's got two home runs and five RBIs in the year. He's got them all today. So now 12 to two. Christian Stupar at the plate again. And that one is gonna get past Miles Burrow in the bottom of the sixth. And they've got two runners in scoring position here for Deontay Rose. Wild pitch will score a run. And it's 13 to two Crows. Here's a hit up the middle. That will bring home another run. Deontay Rose with the RBI. And the Bat Breakers just get embarrassed here at Apple Field on the road against the Crows. 14 to two. They had 18 hits in this game. They put up a five spot and a six spot and absolutely embarrassed our Bat Breakers here today. Unbelievable. But Avatar Ang, Vladimir Smirnov, Jackson Jangalang, Roger Dodger, and Punch Poggington all go 0 4. Blazer Wolf and Cinco Ocho, the two best hitters on our team today. Madam Elmers and Royal Poison both gave up six runs. Madam Elmers in two innings, Royal Poison in one and a third, and Polar Eclipse in two and two thirds only gave up one inning or one run. Duh. Christian Stupar, number one star. Latavius Knight is second, and Philip Ruffs, third. They all played extremely well today, and between the three of them, they were 11 for 12. So the Griffins moved to six and one on the year. The Crows moved to four and three. The Poggers are seven and zero. Oh. The Craniacs actually took their first loss recently. The Blackjacks and Craniacs fighting it out for the East Division of the Western Conference. Craniacs lose again. They lost that time to the Legends, and we are now in the basement of the Central Division in the Western Conference, four and a half games out of the division lead, and probably almost equal to being out in the wild card. We're going to take on the Machos to start the next episode. This episode did not go well for us. We'll probably be looking for some player development opportunities in the next episode. So make sure you drop a like on this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And make sure you subscribe if you are new to the channel at all, because for the love of franchise content, that's all we do here. So we can build a winner together. Take care, everybody. I build you